We'll join now here on GCR as we are just days away from the NFL draft is a young man who's preparing to hear his name called. He had an amazing path even before he arrived in College Park, and he's put together quite the career as a Terrapin, now getting ready for the start of his pro career. He is defensive end Sam Okawanu, and he's with us now here on GCR. Sam, it's Glenn back in Baltimore. It's great to chat with you, man. Thank you for taking the time for us. Thank you for having me, man. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to chat with you, dude. I'm I'm really, like, I, I got to imagine that these are both stressful and, like, incredibly exciting days for you Definitely. at this point. Can you describe what this feeling has been like, what this process has been like? I mean, it's been fun, man. You know, just trying to stay, uh, stay humble and enjoy the process, uh, you know, first and foremost. But now it's definitely, man, you know, mixed emotions, uh, you know, up and down, you're stressful, you're, you know, just really want to get it over with. Um, but, you know, it's very exciting times also, you know, I'm excited to start a new chapter in my life. I'm excited to see, you know, where I end up at, you Thank know, um, you know, what team I'm going to be a part of, what new city I'm going to have to, you know, adjust to. So, it's just, you know, it's exciting times. I'm very excited. I got to imagine it can't nearly be as nerve-wracking as, like, it was when you literally came over from Liberia when you were a young person. <laughs> like, like a lot of guys are probably like, whoa, this is crazy, and you got to be like, no, nah, this is all right. This can't be all that tough. <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. You know, just, uh, you know, I was somebody that moved around a lot, so, uh, you know, just being, uh, getting used to that, just being used to that feeling of, you know, just being able to adjust to your new environment. And, like, you know, feeling nervous about meeting new people and, you know. But, it's like I said, it's all exciting. It's all exciting. Sam, how confident are you at this point? Having gone through everything, you know, the season that you had this year, the opportunities that you've had to show yourself, how confident are you that you're going to hear your name called during the course of this weekend? I mean, I'm very confident I'm going to hear my name called, you know. But, you know, I just... I, I played uh, all my cards on the table, man. Uh, you know, I did everything I could do. And, uh, you know, the cards out of my hand now. And, uh, you know, just waiting to see what happens on that day. But, you know, I'm pretty confident I should hear my name called. How important, you know, was this extra season, getting the opportunity to go back out there for one more year? And, and, and do you feel like you raised your level of play even a little bit more during the course of this final season? Definitely, most definitely, man. Um well, if you're your first part, I know her. I heard your just, uh, just how you know how important was it the opportunity to get to come back and have this season and kind of a full normal football season, right? In order to show exactly right. what you're capable of. No, nah, no, nah, it was definitely, yeah, uh, it was definitely great to have it, man. You know, not just for me, but like you know, every, you know, every senior on the team really needed this season because you know last year COVID we only had uh, like four or five games, so. You know, just being able to put everything together that I learned from, you know, 2019 and, like, the little games we played in 2020, you know, just being able to showcase my talent and, like, you know, everything my D-line coach b will taught me, you know, was major, you know, major accomplishment being, like, third team, uh, you know, all Big Ten and yep. stuff. You know, that would have happened, you know, it wasn't for this year. So, you know, I'm very happy I uh, came back, man. Very happy for this COVID year, you know, to give me, a, give me a, a, another chance to showcase my talent, you know. So I am, uh, you know, top prospect in the draft, or whatever. You know, just play, leave all the cards out there, man. You know, play hard every snap. Uh, play, you know, my hardest, best of my abilities, and uh, just let the cards, you know, go on the place. Sam Okawanu from Maryland is with us here on GCR. Sam, you you really busted out as a pass rusher this season and ended up with six sacks. Do you, do you, you know, obviously you're more of a complete player at that position. But do you feel like that could be even more of a sign of what's to come? Did you find yourself saying, "Okay, yeah, now, now put me, put me in the NFL," and that number could easily be in double digits? Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. You know, I feel like one thing a lot of people don't know about me is, you know, I'm very new to the game of football. Right. Uh, this, this is like my fifth era of football season, and you know, and I'm learning each and every season. I'm learning. I'm improving. So you know, my ceiling is very high. Um. But yeah, man, like that number, that number is definitely gonna go up. You know, want to get to me being around, you know, lead guys, and you know, football is really all about knowledge. You know, the more you know, like the better. You know, you can see, you can make your reads, and you know, you just the, the game just kind of slows down with knowledge, and you know, knowledge is gonna come with time. And the more I play this game, you know, everything is gonna slow down, man. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a great player in the league. I just know it. My work.
work ethic and, you know, my, my, my passion for the game and, like, how I love to watch film, I just know, you know, I have very high ceiling, so I'm trying to reach that. You know, you, you mentioned still being somewhat new to the game. When was the first time that you actually played football, Sam? So the first time I actually played football, like a full season, was like my senior year in high school. That's so wild to me. That's so wild yeah. to me. When, when was it that it first hit you that, like, maybe I could do this for the rest of my life? Like, when was the first time you had the thought – that this wasn't just a thing you were pursuing, that it was something that you really might be capable of doing? Man, I'd probably say uh, when, I, uh, when I went to my second JUCO. So out of high school, out of high school, I really started to, like, you know, like, felt the love for the game. Because before that, I used to play soccer. I was a big soccer guy. So, like, when my cousin, my senior year, my cousin just pointed to me, you know, just try out, try out football, try out football. You know, you might really he, like, you might be really good at it because you're kind of big or whatever. But, you know, I was kind of hesitant because I didn't really like football or whatever. Like, <laughs> so, 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 like, I don't know. I didn't really like it. But um, I feel like the more and more I just play the game, like, the more I started to love it. And uh, the more I, the hunger for the game just increased. And, and, uh, but when I got to my second JUCO in, uh, what's it called, in Minnesota, and I was, like, first team on American for junior college. Like, I led the nation in sacks with, like, 17 and a half. I was like, okay, maybe I can play this game for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, maybe I'm not too bad, man, you know. So, this is my fourth ever season, man, and I'm just improving. I'm just improving, improving, improving. So, Wait, so p- where do you think you fit, Sam? Like, and I know the answer is wherever a coach asks you to be. Like, I understand that. Right. But where do you think the the best fit is for you? Let's just say hypothetically, you know, here in Baltimore, it's a 3-4 defense. W- what is the best, do you think, fit for you within, say, a 3-4 type of defense? Uh, in a 3-4 type of defense, I could definitely play multiple positions. Uh, I could definitely play outside linebacker. Uh, I think I'm great coming off the edge. I can set the edge. Uh, that's what top. I was going to say. You're, are you confident in your ability to set the edge against the run? Right, right, exactly. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely – I'm. Uh, you know, working on my pass rush and stuff, but I mean, I, I could be a very productive person, you know, coming off the edge. Uh, but I could also play, you know, like the uh, strong side five or three tech because, you know, at Maryland, we have to play multiple front. We play the three, four, and the four, three, but we mostly play three, four. So, you know, I had to play on the inside too. So I was playing defensive end, defensive tackle. But also, I play outside linebacker. You know what I mean? So yep. it's really like. <laughs> You know, wherever they see me at. That, I mean, whatever. I understand that's the answer. I completely understand <laughs> that your position is going to be whatever somebody says to go do. You're going to be like, man, that's right. it. <laughs> that's right. that's, that's exactly. what I'm doing now. The yeah, the experience at Maryland and, and being part of a team that was able to turn things around for this program um, over your three years here and then to go out the way that you guys did, get into a bowl game, paste in a big-time opponent in a bowl game this year, how good did that feel? I know, you know, this isn't – you're not from here the way that some guys are, and you might not know all the history of Maryland football, but from where it was when you arrived to being able to have a moment like that, can you describe what that meant to you? I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like that's one of my biggest accomplishments, being here, you know, being at Maryland. Like, you know, just being a part of the culture change here, man. Like, when I first came here, I feel like guys wasn't, you know, as motivated, you know, as to as to needed to be. Guys wasn't really excited about practice. But now, like, you know, this last season, like, you know, you see guys amped up before practice, like, you know, very excited, trying to get better, you know. Like after losses, you know, guys take it very seriously. You guys watching film calling me up, asking me like, you know, what adjustments should I make? What what should I have done here? What should I do here? But like, you know, in twenty nineteen when I came in, it wasn't like that. So just being a part of that and then, you know, winning a bowl game, like, that was a big thing. Like, wow, you know, just being a part of that whole culture change, man. Just being a leader, you know, in the D-line room, like, you know, trying to lead by example, uh, trying to, like, you know, have the new, the new, uh, like, the uh, freshmen and stuff come in with, like, the mindset, like, you know, I'm coming here to work. You yeah. know, but now you're going to sit around and, you know, go through the motion, really. So, you know, I just, like, you know, fortunately stepped up, too, and uh, stepped up my game because I knew, like, you know, the young boys going to be watching me. So, you know, I wanted to make sure I was setting the best example for them, too. But, yeah, man, it was great. Just being a part of that culture change, man, it was definitely, 
you know, one of the proudest things about Maryland. What do you what do you credit the culture change to, Sam? Obviously, as you talk about guys like you having to step up and lead the way, but but what else? How how did this happen that the culture changed so much at Maryland? I mean, I think Coach Lockton definitely did a good job of bringing in the right guys that's going to fit, you know, our locker room. But I was also, you know, also guys just get got tired of, you know, losing and being, you know, the same old like Maryland. You know, that was a big part of, you know, the reason, too, because, you know, you get, like, I don't know, everybody's got sick and tired of it, you know, <laughs> they walk, like, walking through the motions, you know, Maryland, you know, so this year, like, we just attacked every practice, every drill, trying to get 1% better, and that was a big thing for us this year, you know, just getting 1% better, and, uh, you know, just the way of guys to just practice and you know, adjust, adjust the list and, like, everything. Like, you know, it was, it was great. It was great, man. That's awesome, man. It's awesome to hear, you know, like, just, man, we just got sick of it. We got sick of the losing, <laughs> right? It doesn't want to be that way anymore. Right. That's what exactly. it takes. That's awesome, man. Um, so. Sam, are you familiar with the, the legacy of the Baltimore Ravens defense? Like, when I say those words, uh, what? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what what comes to mind for you when I say Ravens defense? Man, Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, you know, you got uh, uh what's his name? Uh, North Fifty Five. Oh, Terrell Suggs, yeah, of course. Terrell <laughs> Suggs, man, he was a dog, man. Oh man, I love Michael Pierce too. He's out there right now. Wow, um, that's cool. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I know about the uh, I know about Baltimore defense, man. You know, historical for like, you know, because being legendary, physical guys, tough guys, you know. Just, uh, you know, just gritty guys, you know, just hard workers, you know, run to the ball, run to every play. And, uh, you know, that's how I see myself. So I, I see myself as a great fit in Baltimore, man. That's what I was I was getting to. Like, so being a part of, like, the, the legacy of the Ravens defense, it sounds like that would be something that would be pretty – and, again, knowing you'll be I, – I know you're going to be excited no matter where it, where it right. is. But right, it sounds right. like the way you reacted to that is that would mean maybe something a little bit more to you to be a part right. of that history. Yeah, most definitely, man. Most definitely, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of great defensive guys that came out of, you know, Baltimore Ravens. So, you know, it'd be an honor to be a part of that, man. It'd definitely be an honor to be a part of that. That'd be really cool, man. That'd be really, really cool if it would work out that way. Sam, what is sure. it that you most want? You know, uh, like when you when you go through these meetings, when you have these opportunities, what is it that you want to have the coaches, the the scouts, the GMs walk away saying about you? Um. You know, like he's a very energetic guy. You know, he's a part, he's a leader, he's a hard worker. Um, I like I want them to know, leaving the meeting knowing that they're getting a solid player. Like, <laughs> like I'm the guy for them. You know, like I don't want no doubts in their head. Like, but then again, you can't really control that. Yep. But really, you know, like. When I go into this meeting, when I go into these meetings and stuff, like I'm very like high energy, you know, just having a real regular conversation with them, just you know, just leaving it all out there, man, just enjoying the process, just talking to them, like you know, like it's just a conversation. Like some guys go into these meetings, like they're palm sweating and stuff. Sure, but, they're st- yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, you got to be yourself. But you know, to answer your question, man, I'll just say, you know. I just say having them understand like who I am, like you know where I came from, like who I am as a person, like you know I'm a hard worker, <laughs> like I'm gonna leave everything out there every single time, like every single play, every single snap. That's awesome, man. That's incredible. All right, Sam Okawanu. Um, Sam, give me an idea. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere like that. Where can Maryland fans be giving you a follow as you're going through this uh, this process this next week in your pro career? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you give me a follow on Twitter at Okuanu, uh, O-K-U-A-Y-I-N-O-N-U, and on Instagram at Sam dot O-K ninety seven. Sam dot O-K ninety seven. I'm. You know what? I had on my list and I didn't get. To, I meant to ask you. Like, you were a kinesiology major. Where did that come from, bro? Like, what? What was? What was the interest there? And like, what are you thinking about for for the life? I mean, whenever football ends. Man, to be honest with you, I think I'm trying to do real estate, you know, after football. Is, uh, <laughs> I'm, I think I'm going to do some real estate, man. But, yeah. All right. All right. Yes, hey, man, yes, it's good work to find, bro. It's good work sure, to find. Sure. Hey, uh, 
um, Sam, really appreciate you taking the time for us, dude. We are wishing you luck. It was an awful lot of fun to watch you play over these last couple of years, man. And, and your, you. your story is real inspiring to a lot of people of, of getting after something um, when not, nothing was ever easy for you at this point. So uh, wishing you nothing but the best, man. Thank you for taking the time for us, and best of luck as you go through this, all right? Thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you.